everybody welcome back to the channel and for those of you who are new welcome my name is stephanie today you guys i have a product that is available on amazon i actually got sent for free um, for my honest review and video showing you guys how i use it now as you probably saw from the title it's makeup brushes everybody needs makeup brushes you guys right so let's get into it the company is called hey mk go and that is short for hey makeup and go this is what i got sent this is how it looks now on all honesty i've already opened this i've already had the brushes out and i've already washed them and let them dry because we're going to use these today but this is how it comes from amazon even got the little amazon shipping little um identification tag so they do come in this nice pouch let's go ahead and get them open so you can see right here this is the logo and the name of the brand very nice leather pleather it's vegan leather a uh, little just a little case and you guys i was so shocked when i opened these now i knew what i was getting but honestly you open them you take the brushes out and it's it's like oh so first things first we're gonna get them all out and i mean all of them because there's a whole pile of brushes so i'm gonna quickly go through them and then we're gonna go ahead and do my makeup for the day now i was super thrilled to see on the largest brushes which i'm going to show you here the five of the largest brushes they have these amazing and necessary these are little guards to keep the bristles protected during shipping or storage so i've talked about these before on my channel these you can buy these also on amazon these if you're going to be traveling and taking makeup brushes put these over to protect the bristles on your brush so these are the first five there are 15 brushes in this set so these are the largest then let me show you guys all the other ones and we'll go through them one by one so look at all these so first we've got a nice large powder fluff brush you can see that here again i've had these out and i've washed them okay so this is the length this is what they look like i've already got a little hair in there um there's the logo on them so they're not extra long brushes they're not super short brushes nice and fluffy okay there we go nice flat brush here super dense very dense some people who like them super duper dense might not find this to be dense enough but these are pretty dense we've got an angled brush here you can see the angle like this i'm just going to spin it around got a flat brush so obviously some of these are meant to be used you can use them with um, your foundations and stuff and I, i'm actually going to be doing all that today and then we've got this really nice angle brush nice and densely packed like i said some people who like them really really dense might find these not dense enough but this is pretty dense you guys pretty dense bristles of course you need for your eyebrows we've got a spoolie and then we've got the little eyebrow brush on the end so dual purpose on this one this is an eyebrow brush of course you can also use this if you use um, like a potted gel eyeliner this is perfect for that as well this is going to be your concealer brush really dense really really like very very dense very stiff for getting concealer on and we've got a straight brush here it can be used for multiple multiple things um this is a you remember i recently unboxed a, a single brush i had gotten through another company and this is a very similar it's got that angle to it this is um i have a couple brushes this is similar to one i've had for a long time i like i actually like this style of brush a lot for when i do my makeup these are going to be your eyeshadows a little fluffier i'm just going to spin them around a little bit these are all going to be for doing your eyes this one has got a straight on the end again very dense pretty pretty dense you can see me trying to move these bristles they're pretty there's a lot of density to them and of course you do have shading and blending brushes as well so honestly you guys every brush you would ever need right so i'm going to show them to you again and then we're going to just get right into doing my face for the day now i do not generally use 
um, a foundation. What I use on my face, and I've talked about this before, is I use a variety of tinted SPFs. And then I also do use a BB cream to kind of um, tone down any redness and even out my skin tone. So we're just going to get started. Now, I use Dermatology's Broad Spectrum SPF. This is not a tinted. I do this on my neck. I start with that first. All right, so I use Perlice, their BB cream, and this is in the shade Light Medium. And I mix that with Dermatology's Universal Tinted Moisturizing SPF 46. So this is an SPF 46. It's tinted. This is an SPF 40. And I do two pumps of each. And then I dot them on my eyes. And we're going to go in with, I think I'm going to use, the, well, I think I'm going to use this brush first. I think I'll use this. It's got a slight angle to it. It's quite dense. It is meant to be a face brush. So I'm going to just do two pumps and sometimes I add more. It just depends. And then I'll do a glob of that. That's pretty much all I use. I'll show you. I mix it in my hand and then I'm going to put some dots on my face. There it is. Dots around my face. And I will use the brushes. Probably going to need more, but I always just get started with that amount and then add more as needed. Okay, so this is a face brush, very nicely, densely packaged, lots of bristles. So as you can see, it does provide some, uh, like an even base and color for me. I, you know, I'm not on camera all day. It's not what I do all day. So I'm going to go ahead and probably mix up a little bit more. This is a, you guys, this feels amazing. It's nice and stiff. It's getting everything where I need it to get. I gotta be careful I don't get it too close to the corners of my eyes, but. I try not to mix up too much of my, if you wanna call it foundation, you can call it that, but my base layer, my SPF, I don't like wasting product. And that's why you start with a little bit, um, a small amount and use your brush to kind of blend it around your face. So I will drag it under my ear. I'm probably going to need a little more. I don't put my SPF on stuff on my lips. I don't. Um, it's got that chemical SPF in it. I don't need that in my mouth. I would say that you could probably use the larger brush to do a really a better job of moving this around, but I don't want to be wasteful. So I like the smaller brush. Now this is not, not foundation. It is just an SPF in a BB cream. So I'm doing just a little bit of my dermatology and I'm going to do an equal amount, a little bit of my BB cream. Cause I'm going to add a little bit more in. I'll just go ahead and mix it a little bit in with a brush. I'm just pulling this color down. I finish up with my hands to just blend. I don't want to have that, that line. <laughs> So you, I do blend in some coloring down. This is fairly close to my skin tone, but you guys will see it's just a little light, but I'm gonna go in um, and do a little contouring later. One of the important things to do, especially when you're getting older, is making sure the under eye area is really, really hydrated because you lose a lot of collagen there and um, makeup doesn't necessarily sit well. So I tend to, time, tend to at times put in a little extra BB cream right under. I'm smearing it around a little bit with my finger and then we're going to go in with the brush and just kind of make sure it's in there. All right. I, I like that brush a lot. We're going to use this little flat brush here. So I use uh, Beauty Bakery. I use the Titan Light because of the makeup I'm going to be putting on today. It's a very, it's almost like doing a cut crease. But you guys, you hardly have to use any of this. This is all I'm going to use for both eyelids. This goes a little bit, goes a very long way. If I put too much on, what happens is it, it starts to clump and cake because it's, it's so potent. Uh, it, it's amazing. So I am going to go ahead and use this brush with the flat. And I'm just going to go ahead and work this into my lid. You can kind of see it's a little thick where I started it. 
but I don't tend to go heavy on the primer because it creases and clumps and looks messy. It's, this is literally a primer that goes a little bit, goes a long way. I don't go all the way up. Um, I don't plan on using makeup too much makeup all the way up and this is more I'm using this primer more for the type of shadow I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using a Cleona shadow that's got some glitter in it so I do need something with some stick not necessarily using a glitter glue but this has got a lot of stick to it so okay that worked out really well I do I like these types of brushes they're super flat across very dense bristles they're really packed in firm this is some Natasha Denona makeup I'm gonna be using I'm going to use this angled fluff brush right here. And I'm going to pick up a very like nude, nude color right here and just lay in a little bit of that nude coloration uh, above my lid. And I've got a trash can here so I can knock off the excess. And this is not really meant to look like a lot of color on here. I'm just kind of evening the coloration. You can see it does. It does settle nicely. Okay, simple, easy, not a ton of color, just putting in that light coloration. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing like an orange color today, so I'm gonna actually go in with this shade right here. It's just a light kind of peachy I'm using the same brush. I really like this brush, um, so I've got it picked up. I'm gonna tap it off into my trash can, and this is a really pretty intense color. I'm just gonna lay it down with this brush and then we're gonna get in the, one of the blending brushes. I don't, I'm not wanting to have like a really heavy eye look today. So I'm kind of just patting this in above kind of the crease line and above the crease line. I have a lot of real estate from my crease up to my brows right here. There's a lot of real estate on this. Um, so I can actually get away with putting quite a bit of color just above the crease line. Okay, so use that one. I'm going to go ahead and use, they've got this really nice fluffy blending brush. We're going to go ahead and just blend. And again, I'm trying to be towards the end to really, and I do have a tendency to just kind of hold my eye uh, or the corner of my eye. You got to be careful. You can really move makeup around doing that, but <clears throat> uh, it's not really a concern because for me it's, um, it's just an SPF. I can always go in. So I'm just trying to make this a little bit blended. And sometimes I will go back in with that first color I chose, that kind of white nudie color, pick some of that up, tap it off. And just to tone down, if I think it's a little bit too bright, I don't want to have that kind of, um, I call it Instagram makeup. Uh, you know, I don't want it to be really, really bold. I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and lay some color on the edges. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go back in with this, this angled brush. It's a fluffy, nice angled brush. And I'm just going to pick up just a little bit of that color again. I'm going to tap it and I'm just going to pat it into the corners of my eye. Back in with the fluffy um, mixing blending brush. Just gonna kind of fluff that in a little bit. Now that's sitting on top of that primer and it's starting to lay down that primer. So as you can see, I didn't put a lot on there. I'm gonna use this shadow brush right here. We're gonna use, there is this really pretty, it's the third, ooh, sorry guys. This one right here, right there. With Cleona, a little bit goes a long way. I've got it picked up on the end, and because I have still have that primer on, I am patting it into the lid. So my lid is still sticky everywhere that I have not put that first layer of shadow on. It's always good, uh, anytime you use any kind of shadows that have glitters, you, you really need a sticky base. So you need to use some sort of primer, something that is going to have some stick. And if you lay down a lot of powder over it, you're going to lose that stick. So, and then, uh, yeah, we've definitely lost some of the sticky on the outside, but I've picked some sticky up by pressing into that um, primer. So I'm just going to press some of the Cleona over the top of the Natasha Denona. 
it's time to contour this is the darkest i could find this is shade 149 you can see i've used quite a bit and i actually lay this on my face i just go around you guys are gonna think i'm crazy but this is what i do okay now this company mk uh, or i'm sorry hey mk go they don't just have the brushes okay they've got a lot of beauty products so they do have other items and for this i don't use a brush i do use a sponge okay so it's a damp sponge and i'm just i'm not moving it i'm i'm patting it in and the reason i use a damp sponge is because if it's not damp it picks up all my spf it picks up the maybelline it just it yanks it it acts like a dry sponge and it yanks all that off and you don't want to do that so i'm starting to push that color in i might go a little bit back and forth to kind of blend it now this is not how everybody else does it and you don't have to do it this way and you don't have to use this type of product you can use actual contour but uh this is just what i do and it just takes time to blend and you just got to be patient so I'm just doing the edge of my jawline, but I got to go under. So now I just, and that's to just provide that kind of shadowing look that kind of tricks your eye. That darkness kind of tricks your eye, tucks up your, your under chin a little bit. Okay, so next thing we need to do, I don't mind so my eyebrows you guys have been tattooed so i tend to go over them with some spf and i'm going to go ahead and do that um again because it's really important if you have the tattooed brows that you protect them from sun the sun will actually fade your your eyebrow tattoo so i'm going to go ahead and go in on especially on the tails i do kind of go over it but then we're going to need to put in a little a little brow coloration so i'm going to use the spoolie uh, from this Hey MK Go. This is a double sided. There's a spoolie end. There is going to be the brush end. So I got that in. I'm going to go ahead and just fluff, fluff upward the hairs. And it's, I do have hairs. I just don't have a lot. So that's where the tattooing came in. I'll let that happen. You can see I've really faded out the tail um, by using that SPF. Hey, Marc Jacobs. It's just, it's got a really fine tip. This is a brow pencil. Um, I don't even know if it tells the shade color on here anymore. I don't think it does. I call it like a dark brown. So I just, I take a very, very light amount on the tip. And I just kind of imitate the strokes of hair maybe not so much on the tail so i do this first and then we'll go in with the spoolie and the brush end and kind of clean that up okay easy peasy on that we're going to go ahead in again with the spoolie i'm just going to go ahead and kind of fluff up a little bit with the hairs but i'm really going to take this it's a nice angled end and i'm just going to go ahead and blend Taking any of that color and just kind of clearing it up, making sure it's not like too heavy in one spot. Using this Ofer brush, blush. I really want to use this angled brush. I love the look of this brush a lot. It's soft, it's fluffy. This is exactly what I want in a blush brush. Now, you don't always have to use the brushes the way that they say they are. Do what you. Um, do what makes you happy there you go there's the coloration from ofra and the shade is blush rose so i'm going to pick some up on this it's a pretty blushy rose color i'm going to tap it and for me i just need a little bit of color here i don't do a lot i just add some kind of pinky tones above where i contoured so i'm going to push that in this is the nyx professional uh epic link epic ink liner i can't talk and it's a black shade i don't remember if it's like very black i have this linked in my amazon store as well as these brushes are also 
that's the applicator. So I'm just going to go ahead and for now, I'm just going to put a light, just trace that lash line. I'm going to wing my eyeliner today. So we're going to use this liquid eyeliner. I'm not going to do a huge wing. I'm just going to do a little one. Now, if I wanted to, if I was using a cream, like a potted cream eyeliner, I would absolutely, absolutely either go in with this, this double, the double ended one. It's a little smaller where we do have, this is really, a, I think, a great brush for doing like a gel eyeliner. Super stiff. You just go in with that gel eyeliner. I actually don't use gel eyeliners. I find I don't reach for them. And what happens is they dry out on me. So I love the Maybelline um, Sky High Lash Sensation. Um, I love both the non-waterproof and the waterproof. So I grabbed this one, not the waterproof one. And I'm just going to go ahead. Um, I, I don't have a primer. We're just, I'm doing a light, light eye look today. I do not have great lashes. I just don't. What do you think, guys? I just don't have great lashes, but this is the first layer, and I always have harder time on my left, on my left eye than my right. And I have to be careful because um, this does such a nice lengthening job. It ends up all over my face if I'm not careful. But um, while that's drying, I'm going to go in. This is Tarte's uh, Maracu Maracuja Miracle Mist. It's a setting spray. I'm going to give this a light. I want to set my eyes, the glitter, and I want to set my face. So I love that it's a fine mist. Ooh. Grab your fan. Give yourself a quick fan. So it dries fairly quickly. Boy, oh, you can tell it's been a long week, you guys. I got, I definitely got some bags going on under my eyes. <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to go in using their uh, concealer. And I'm going to actually take my, my BB cream and see if I can... Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer, Maybelline's the, the light concealer, under. And I think I'm going to try to blend that. I just, I, you know, it's been a long week. I definitely got the lack of sleep shadows going under my eyes. So I'm going to use the concealer brush and just kind of try to move that around a little bit. Appreciate you guys watching this so much. I have to say, I think this is a great set of brushes. And you guys, would you believe you get all those brushes? That's 15 brushes. Really nice case, you guys. It doesn't have a weird smell at all. Not at all. Um, super nice case. Does not have a weird smell at all. Really nice case. Because I've had brushes that have come in cases like this and it smells funny. No scent at all. 15 of these brushes, you guys. Can you believe? Currently pricing on Amazon right now when I make this video, you guys. Less than $20. Shipped to you if you're a Prime. It is eligible. Prime eligible. Um... It's shocking. It's amazing. I think these are fantastic brushes to start off anybody with. Now, if you're a brush snob, you're a brush snob. You're not going to be buying these. Probably you're going to be looking at ridiculous brush, brush, um, spending a lot of money on them. But, um, I, I think these are nice. I'm really happy with these brushes. I will definitely be using these quite a bit. I'm just deepening up that blush a little bit where I kind of made a mess. Um, so let me see if I can put them all together. Some of them are obviously dirty now because i've used a ton of them 15 brushes you guys if you are looking for inexpensive brushes but quality brushes i think these are amazing so look at this tons of them i still haven't used all of them i just uh you know I, i'm super happy with these now again they're not so long that they would be difficult to pack for a trip um and, but they're not so short that they're hard to handle. I, I think for me, they work out perfectly. Um, 
I don't like brushes that are super long and I don't like, I can't use the ones that are too short. Um, I get a little too intense with them. So again, uh, you guys, these are linked in my Amazon shop. I really like these. This is the first time using them. I opened it up um, yesterday. I got them all out. I washed them. I always recommend you wash new brushes first. Um, I do recommend you periodically wash your brushes. I generally wash my brushes about every two to three uses. Just a very gentle cleanser and um, like a very light, uh, cold or barely warm water. You don't want to get it so hot that you're melting, you know, anything. Um, these are synthetic, so they're vegan, cruelty-free. Uh, let me know if you got questions, guys. I really appreciate so much that uh, Hey MK Go asked me to um, try these for my honest review. You guys, they're really fantastic. They sent them to me. All they wanted was this video with my honest review. They didn't try to coerce me into providing a great review. This is my honest opinion on these brushes. I do like them a lot. They're soft. They're dense. Um, I, I, I do like them a lot. I was concerned I wasn't going to like the, the brush that I used to do my foundation. Super dense. I liked it a lot. I had no problem with it. So let me know, you guys. This is probably one of the first times you see me do a ton of eye makeup looks. Um, I'm not really set up in my videoing area to do this, but um, I, uh, I hope it turned out well. We'll see in editing. But again, uh, the link for this, it'll be down below in the description of this video. Again, the, at a time of recording, these were under $20. They do have a lot of other products. You guys they have a really nice um, offering on, on Amazon. And um, yeah, I, I they've got, you know, tons of brushes. They've got um, sponges, you name it. They've got a bunch of stuff. So make sure you check them out. Um, I think this would be a really neat set to give for gifting, whether it be somebody's birthday or the holiday gifting season. Um, I think it's a great way to get somebody who is maybe new to makeup into brushes. If you've got a daughter or a granddaughter or a son or a grandson who's really into makeup uh, or just getting interested in makeup, this is a great way to get them set up with really nice quality brushes for, you know, not breaking the bank. Um, you know, you could easily do this brush set and gift them some other makeup items as well. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. I appreciate so much. I know this is a long video. I apologize. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you got questions. Again, thank you so much to Hey MK Go, which stands for hey makeup and go um for allowing me to do this video and gifting these to me for my review um i really i do like them a lot i think they're a really great product so have a great one you guys i will see you on my next video bye everybody